Hey guys, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Thanks for tuning in. It's clear tonight, so I have an opportunity to work with the telescope and uh, the latest version of Nina, which um, I wanted to look at the latest plugins and uh, revisit the plugins because the first, the other video that I did, um, I was talking about the ground station plugin and the three point polar alignment. Now, there are other plugins as well. I took a look at Dark's Customs, and this was a really uh, great plugin, I think. It really makes automating the filter offsets easy to do. It's um, something that's available under the, uh, the plugins menu in Nina. I'm running the latest build right now, the latest nightly build of version 1.11. If uh, you're running 1.11, the latest nightly build, you'll find it under plugins. If you're not, uh, if you don't see the plugins tab, then you're probably not running the uh, latest nightly build. So it's really easy to install this plugin. Like the other plugins, you simply uh, select it and then up here it will ask you to install it. You click install and then you'll have to restart Nina after that it'll be available to you in the uh, sequencer the uh, advanced sequencer so how does it work and what does it do well it calculates all of the filter offsets for you for it so it, it basically focuses all of your filters and it calculates all the filter offsets for you you don't have to do it manually anymore this plugin will automatically do it for you it'll it'll go through each filter calculate the proper focus then when it's done, it'll present you with an opportunity to accept those offsets that it's calculated. So let's have a look at how it works. It's really simple. You go to the advanced sequencer, click on advanced sequencer, and you will find uh, that once you've installed Dark's Customs, you'll find it in the menu over here on the right. It's right here under Dark Customs. Simply grab it and drag it over drop it in place its default settings are three iterations so it'll run through the process three times and then provide you with the best offset calculations that it's determined for this example here i'm not going to do that i'll just run it through one time and let it do its job uh, settings you can pretty much uh, leave these all at default unless there's reason to change them but everything is uh, turned automatically on to calculate offsets for all of the filters that you have installed so if we come back here once uh, this is set you've dropped it in to the advanced sequencer all you have to do is uh, click the go button in the bottom right to start the sequence and it will begin to calculate the filter offsets. It'll start the autofocus sequence for each filter. It'll run through the luminance filter. It'll do the red, the green, the blue, the H alpha, oxygen three and S2 for you. Calculate all the offsets, all the filter offsets, and then it'll present those when it's done, what it's arrived at, what it's determined as best focus for each filter and allow you to accept it. So I'm gonna let it do its job. And just to speed things up, we'll fast forward to when it's completed. Okay, so it finished determining the proper offsets for each filter, uh, which are right here. These are the new offsets that it's determined for focus. This is the current offsets that are already input, and it'll give you the option to accept those or abort. Now, you can abort, of course, and restart it. Try again if you wanted to, if you weren't happy with the results. And looking at these offsets here, I'm going to accept these. They look pretty good. They're very much in line with the previous offsets, uh, varying just slightly. And that's to be expected uh, from night to night as you have to uh, redo your focus. So I'm going to accept these offsets. And uh, the only other thing that you might want to consider doing is setting a, uh, an autofocus filter. Now I use the luminance filter for uh, doing the autofocus. If you want to choose that filter, you just simply go here and in the drop down menu and select which filter you want to use for your autofocusing. Um, I don't need to change it because I've already got the luminance filter set. So the only thing that I need to do is accept this and it's done. All of the filters have been focused and all the offsets have been input to Nina. Really simple to use, very effective. It's a great plugin. If you're not using it, uh, give it a try. Easy to install. And like I said, uh, just drop it into the advanced sequencer and press go. That's basically all you have to do. And then accept the offsets that it arrives at. 
So uh, leave a comment below if you're using this plugin and uh, how do you like it? Is it working well for you? Are you getting good results with it? Uh, I, I'm getting excellent results with it. So I'm really pleased that this uh, was developed uh, and provided within Nina. Uh, Stanley uh, Demant, I'm not sure. Sorry, Stanley, I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name exactly, but uh, Dark Archon is uh, his online name and uh, he's been uh, helping with Nina and he's in the Discord channel too, helping uh, to answer questions there. So uh, very uh, excellent plugin that he developed here for Nina and it really helps speed things along and makes uh, determining proper focus for each filter really, uh, really easy to do. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like and leave that comment for me. It helps the channel grow. And uh, we'll see you again in another video. For now, take care and clear skies.